Hello, hi everyone. Today we have discussed a new topic that is called electric field. So, what is electric field? Till now we have discussed about Coulomb's law. Coulomb's law between two point charges and the superposition of forces. That means if any point charge and so many other point charges, how much they are exerting the force on that point charge, we are dealing with this till now. So today we have discussed about electric field. What is electric field? Before dealing about electric field, we must discuss about field. What is field? Field is a physical quantity. Field is a physical quantity that distributed in space. So, field is a physical quantity that distributed in space. And maybe the field is a scalar and maybe the field is a vector. So, first thing, electric field. So, we first discuss about field. Field is a physical quantity that distributed in a space. Just like we have a pressure, we have a pressure, pressure is a field, how pressure is a field, pressure is distributed in space, everywhere, here pressure is something, here maybe the pressure is something different, here maybe the pressure is something different, everywhere pressure is different. So pressure is distributed in a space, in the same way, temperature is also, is a physical, uh, temperature is also a field. Because everywhere in a space, temperature is distributed. You can find the temperature everywhere in space. Here you can find the temperature, here you can find, here you can find. Maybe that corner have 27 degrees Celsius, this corner have 27.1 degrees Celsius. There may be a change, yes. And maybe that does not have any change. We form it everywhere in form. So, temperature is also C. Mass have a field that is named as gravitational field. Magnets have a field that is called magnetic field. Charge have a field that is called electric field. But how and why scientists will come at that point and they are thinking about electric field, how these things will come into the picture. So I am saying pressure and temperature is a scalar field. Because you have a magnitude of these things in a space, but you does not have any direction of the pressure and of the temperature. So pressure and temperature both are pressure and temperature both are both are a scalar field. But if you have a charge, let like we have a charge here. This charge have a field in a space. Everywhere in a space, they have a field. Their field is distributed in a space. If you take any other charge here, that charge feel the force. That charge feel the force. If you have this charge and you can take any other charge at that place here and here and here, so it feels the force. How does this charge will feel the force? Can this charge touch this and push it? No, that will not happen. So how does this charge can influence or we say in other words exerting the some force on this charge? If this charge is not present here then, if you take this charge here then, there is no force. There is no influence of force on this charge. So in this way, you are feeling the influence of the force on that charge, on that point charge. So this is the way in which the things is going on. So electric field is a field that is distributed in a space around the charge. But this electric field and magnetic field gravitational field, all are vector field, all are vector field. 
So electric field is a field which is distributed in a space. How does the scientist come at that point? They can put a charge, capital Q here, and if they take any Q naught test charge at that point, Q naught is what? This is the test charge. This is a test charge. This is a source charge. This is a source charge. This is a source charge, capital Q. If you take any Q0 test charge just in nearby this capital Q, so what happened with the test charge? Test charge can feel the force. Test charge can feel the force. How much force he can feel? This can feel the force K, Q, Q0. If the separation between these two is R, so they can feel the force R square. So F equal to K Q Q naught upon R square. Okay. So in this way, you are getting this much of force is applying on the test charge Q naught. Okay. So this much force is acting on the test charge. Okay. So suppose we fix a positive point charge capital Q here. And we place a test charge Q0. So the force on the Q0 test charge is KQ Q0 upon R square. So this is the way in which the force is acting on the test charge. Okay. If we are going to take to discuss about the electric field, so the scientists are saying electric field is a force per unit test charge. Force on a test charge divided by the magnitude of the test charge. So this is force on test charge divided by magnitude of test charge. So this is the magnitude of electric field. This is F upon Q naught or we say K Q Q naught upon R square divided by Q naught and we get K Q upon R square. This is a magnitude of electric field acting at that point acting at that point and this is a field due to the source charge Q ok so this is the electric field due to the source charge Q is KQ upon R square in magnitude at that point so what is the electric field? electric field is a force per unit test charge ok